Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving mass, weight, and gravitational field strength. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says an astronaut has a mass of 60 kilograms. Calculate her weight on the surface of the Earth and on the surface of the Moon. Well, if you think about the Earth first of all and write down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the weight W. We know the mass M is 60 kilograms and we know the gravitational field strength G on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And you can find that on the data sheet. Writing down the equation relating weight, mass and gravitational field strength, we have W equals mg. Substituting in the numbers gives us 60 times 9.8 and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 588 newtons. And then to calculate our weight on the surface of the moon, we're going to do the same again, but we're going to use a different value of g, we're going to use g on the moon this time. So we know that we're trying to find weight again, we know that mass is 60 kilograms because mass stays the same no matter what planet you're on, but it's the gravitational field strength g that differs, so this has a value of 1.6 newtons per kilogram, which you can find on the data sheet. Writing down our equation, we have w equals mg, Substituting in the numbers gives us 60 times 1.6 and putting that into your calculator gives you an answer of 96 newtons. So you can see the clear difference between the astronaut's weight on the surface of the Earth compared to the surface of the Moon. The weight on the surface of the Moon is much less than the weight on the surface of the Earth. Question 2 says the weight of a space shuttle on Earth is 5.6 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons. Part A says to determine the mass of the space shuttle. Well, let's write down what we know from the question. We're trying to find the mass M. We know the weight W is 5.6 times 10 to the 5 newtons and the gravitational field strength G on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, which you can find on the data sheet. Writing down our equation, we have W equals mg. Rearranging for the mass m, we can divide both sides by g to get m equals W over g. Substituting in the numbers gives us 5.6 times 10 to the 5 divided by 9.8. And lastly, putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 5.7 times 10 to the 4 kilograms. Part B then says to calculate its weight on the moon. Well this time we're trying to find what W is. We know that the mass is what we've just calculated, 5.7 times 10 to the 4 kilograms, because that's going to stay the same no matter what planet you're on. And lastly, the gravitational field strength G on the moon is 1.6 newtons per kilogram. Writing down our equation, we have W equals mg. Substituting in the numbers, we get 5.7 times 10 to the 4 times 1.6, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 9.1 times 10 to the 4 newtons. Lastly, question 3 says to calculate the weight on Mars of the Mars Curiosity rover if its weight on Earth is 4,900 newtons. Well, what we need to do here is first calculate its mass on Earth. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the mass M. We know that the weight W is 4,900 newtons and G on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So writing down our equation, we have W equals mg. Rearranging for the mass again, we can divide both sides by G to get M equals W over G. Substituting in the numbers gives us 4,900 divided by 9.8, which if you put into your calculator gives an answer of 500 kilograms. However, we're not finished because we've only found the mass, we want to find the weight on Mars. So now we want to calculate its weight on Mars, so we can say W is what we're trying to find, M is 500 kilograms, which we've just calculated, and again mass stays the same on Mars and the Earth, and that's because the mass value will stay the same no matter what planet we're on. And lastly, G on Mars is 3.7 newtons per kilogram. Now remember, you'll get that value on the data sheet. So writing down our equation, we have W equals mg. Substituting in the numbers, we get 500 times 3.7. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 1,850 newtons. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.